would indicate at this stage that that is not uh, the Ark of Noah. The Ark of Noah was possibly, if we understand uh, what the gopher wood was, and we don't, but if we go back to the original writings, the Ark of Noah was probably built out of papyrus reed. But this great flood deluged the world of that time and, uh, and cleansed the earth. And Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. For the survivors of these events, it will be a new era of peace, of spiritual completion. The brothers of space will reveal themselves as the keepers of Christ, and a large white cross will be seen in the sky. Thousands of mother ships in the formation of a flying cross will be seen in the sky to herald the return of the Christ. For the chosen ones, it will be important to pay attention to their intuition and to their dreams, because the higher self will be sending out impulses ahead of the disasters caused by humanity and triggered by nature, in order to be in the right location at the right time. Earth will be cleansed for the seventh time, and God within us will decide whether we will be the seed for perfected mankind. The Earth's development in the material world can be divided into seven successive cycles. At present, we are in the last stage of the seventh cycle. Each cycle was finished by a cataclysm on the Earth, but those who embodied the cosmic values were saved. Those were the people who had collected the necessary energy vibration for the new cycle. It was always the result of individual experiences. Activated energetic channels and super senses are the consequences of these changes in a man's body. People receiving messages through their super senses also receive information about places where certain disasters will take place. It refers to Japan, Great Britain and some European countries. Much information we receive during our dreams, when the body is relaxed, calmed, and our intellect and personality do not disturb us. We become open to all impulses which can reach us from the outside. Everything that comes during a dream, which seems to be unreal, in many cases shows us situations which will happen here on earth. Please pay special attention to your dreams. From many messages we can learn how in practice the earth will enter the anti-material world. The last material cycle finishes in the 80s and 90s. So we are just in the center of the universe. We are entering the antimatter. The Earth will move differently in the antimaterial side than at the moment. This movement will have a shape of the number eight, rotating not around the Sun, but at first around two energetic centers. One of them will be the Sun, and the second will be Saturn. The rest of the planets will also rotate in the way of the number eight shape, around the centers mentioned before. The coming years will decide how we will experience the external changes. We have the choice either to face the events in fear or to see the cataclysmic conditions of the prophecies of the apocalypse as a necessary renewal for mankind. Because it is up to us how we view the purification. Mother Earth itself will try to awaken us as softly as possible when she gets her planetary contractions for the birth of a more conscious humanity. The world has received many warnings from saints, extraterrestrials and prophets. The world has been given many signs. 
However, at the end of time, everyone will recognize that which he did not want to see. At the time of the ascension, it will be up to us to realize that one third of the air, one third of the water, one third of the flora and fauna, and one third of mankind has left the planet as indicated in various apocalyptic prophecies. A smooth transition would occur if the light workers and humans, through liberation of their active love, and through the call for divine grace, and if millions of people were willing to work on themselves in order to participate in a mass ascension. This would weaken the global events and divert the karmic release more towards the individual human beings. The cyclical apocalypses of creation are like a school of life where one is promoted to the next grade at the end of term. A certain percentage of mankind is not capable of ascending to the next grade because of a lack of preparation. After their present lifetime, they are going on vacation for a long recovery in the astral world. After a good recovery, the souls repeat the failed school year on other planets and then move on to new cycles of incarnations. The positive and the negative on this planet are continuously strengthening. We receive daily news of earthquakes from around the planet flood disasters, volcanic eruptions, well over 100 war zones and many massacres are causing new famines, misery and new migrations of nations. We are receiving daily news of new environmental disasters. The ozone hole spreads out at a frantic pace. The jungles which represent the lungs of the earth are being cut down globally. The loss of trees through environmental destruction is escalating. The greenhouse effect and the earth's temperature are increasing globally. Thus the climatic zones are shifting so fast that we can already observe the change. Snow is falling in areas where there has not been any before and elsewhere it is warming up in areas where it used to be cold. The ecological balance has already been disturbed to such a degree that thousands of species of animals and plants have already apparently disappeared from this planet forever. Other species are in plague proportions, as happened in ancient Egypt. We seem to be suffocating in our own rubbish and poison dumps. Millions of people are infected with new and apparently incurable diseases. Raw materials seem to be exhausted and the earth is experiencing a population explosion. Yes, I've been working for a number of years on future progressions. This uh, work culminated in the book Mass Dreams of the Future uh, in German Zukunftsvisionen der Menschheit and the method that was used was started by Dr. Helen Wambach to take people into past lives. It's a light trance state used in groups where we would then ask very ordinary questions of people once they were taken into a specific future time period. Um, the numbers of people that we worked with were over 2,500 and actually in the book we have results from about 500 out of that group. Uh, in part, that's because many people didn't find themselves coming back in the time periods that we uh, initially asked them. So this was one of the first uh, and rather surprising results of our research, that so few people found themselves coming back to the Earth or to the material plane at the time of a, a couple hundred years from now. The fact that there are so few people that seem to come back in the time periods that we've worked with could lead one to believe that there might be something like an apocalypse uh, in the future. However, I think that it's a question of a choice that we have in this matter, and possibly it's not the kind of apocalypse people might be thinking of. There are, there are many conditions that could lead to a drop in the population. For example, we could have some um, worse plagues or worse illnesses than the ones we've already had. 
We could have, of course, atomic war, or we could have natural catastrophes that might also occur, or some combination of these. I'm not sure that anyone can answer, will there be exactly an apocalypse? But uh, certainly the data that comes out does indicate that there will be great changes taking place. The world is becoming more hectic. Everything is about survival. Money, power, addictions, and distractions have become the companions of mankind. 